Hey everyone, welcome back to The Grown Up Millennial. Today's video is so special to me. It is one that has been often requested by my family and friends and I'm finally making it. A few months ago, I got really into watching YouTubers and I got really cocky and I was, so on my Snapchat, I live snapped, is that how you describe it? I live snapped my meal planning, grocery shopping and cooking. And I got so many positive responses, so many people texting me saying that they were watching my story over and over again, that they really wanted to see this, that it was really helpful, that it really inspired me. And that's where the seed of wanting to do a YouTube channel really started. So this video is going to focus on buying healthy food on a budget. So we're going to head to the grocery store and I'm going to show y'all how I do that. Actually, before you go to the grocery store, you need to do a little bit of shopping at home. So what does that mean? First, you should always be looking in your pantries. Go to your pantry, go to your fridge, go to your refrigerator or your freezer and figure out what you already have. Because when you're going to be shopping on a budget, you don't want to be buying things you already have. It's a little bit of a waste of money and no one ends up going back to the store to return anything. So, so the next thing you should be doing is going out to your mailbox and getting a flyer like this. So I'm sure you get these all the time. You probably toss them or use them to line, I don't know, your hamster's cage. But these are really important because they're going to give you ideas for meal planning. So looking at the flyer, I saw uh, strawberries were on sale. I saw tomatoes and cilantro was on sale. And that started giving me an idea for vegetarian tacos and smoothies because it's 500 degrees. So I don't want to cook, especially in the morning. So I'll have smoothies for breakfast. And then now I have sort of an idea and I'm going to use that to build the rest of my list. So here's a list, this should give you an idea. Personally, I like to write down about how much I think things are gonna cost so that I can keep in budget. These things, I know how much they cost, they were in my flyer, but these things I know I need, but I bought them before, I have a general idea of how much they cost, and then I can keep a running total in my head. I, If I were to expand this list, I would include, maybe, if some of these things were cheaper than I expected them to, them to be. I might add some other things to my list, like treats or anything else I want to add. So, always important to go shopping with a list. It doesn't have to be an exact list. Oftentimes, I'll just write, like, vegetable if I know I need something for dinner, but I don't know what's on sale. But the basic idea is you should be having some sort of guide before you head to the grocery store. So, walking to the grocery store while we walk there, I'm going to tell you a couple things about this trip. First, my budget for this trip is $20. That is how much I spent in college on groceries per week. Now, just because my budget is $20 doesn't mean that yours should or can be $20. Prices are different in different places. You might be bigger, you might eat more meat than I do, what have you. But the goal here is to show you some tips that regardless of your budget, will help you reduce your overall grocery bill. Now, every, every person who talks about food is gonna tell you they have a favorite grocery store. I'm no different. I'm. I'm a big fan of Trader Joe's, Sprouts, and Costco, but I don't have a Trader Joe's or uh, Sprouts. I do have a Costco, but that would mean I have to get on in my cart, and I don't feel like doing that right now. So we're just going to go to the local grocery store, which is Ralph's, because I can walk there, and I don't feel like driving, and I don't have enough gas in my car. So. First tip on shopping for healthy food from the grocery store, you want to stick to the perimeter. That's the outside of the store. That's where you're going to find your healthiest foods like your meats, your fruits and vegetables, your dairy. Don't go into the middle where all the cereals, snacks, and cakes are unless you know exactly what you need or else you'll buy too much junk and you'll just get off track. Personally, in the handbasket versus cart debate, I always pick handbasket because I have little noodle arms. And when I get a handbasket, I get tired and I don't buy as much food. Straight to the vegetables, that is an awesome price on zucchini. I can use zucchini for pretty much anything, so let's grab a couple and make those for dinner. That is a great price on strawberries as well. I actually already have strawberries at home, but I use so many for smoothies that I'm going to buy a couple and freeze them. That's a great way to take advantage of a sale on something that you use a lot of, even if you don't necessarily need it right now. Here are those tomatoes we were talking about. Great price, 99 cents a pound, so I'm gonna make salsa. When you're trying to buy healthy food, it's really important to consider snacks in addition to meals. 
My favorite healthy snack is apples. I pick apples because they're always on sale, great price, I reach my five a day. I eat them with peanut butter because it's a complete snack with protein, fat, and carbs, and I almost never get bored of it. So find a snack like that that's healthy, that works for you. Oh my gosh, that's such a good price on limes. This is the cilantro we were talking about earlier. Better grab one of those. The thing about cilantro is it goes bad pretty quick, so don't overstock unless you're going to use all of it. So everyone has that thing they buy every time they go to the grocery store, and for me, that's bananas. I use these every gosh darn day. I'm not buying spices on this trip, but spices in the bags are always cheaper. Check these out, they'll be in like the Hispanic section or something, but they're always cheaper. Quick check-in. We went to the produce section, so now I know I got all my fruits and veggies. I parked next to the wine, so you know where my mind's at. That's actually why I always go to the produce section first, so I fill up with the healthiest stuff first. Whether you're a vegetarian or just trying to cut down on your meat intake or you want more fiber, whatever it is, I love this section where you can get beans and lentils and peas. You can buy canned because they're already cooked, that's great, but if they're gonna be the central part of your dish, like black beans are gonna be the central part of my tacos, I recommend buying and cooking them be yourself because they taste so much better. In addition, let's grab some rice. I tend to buy brown rice, but if it's a texture thing, I'll buy white. Nothing wrong with white rice. Uh, in this case, brown rice works for me. It has a little bit more fiber. Real talk, let's talk about unit prices. So I'm here at the tortillas because I'm making tacos. So of course I need tortillas and I have two options. I have this 80 pack for $2.99 or this 30 pack for $1.47. You've probably heard to look at unit prices right here, $4.48 an ounce versus down here, $5.88 an ounce. So these tortillas are cheaper, overall a better deal. However, personally, I'm not going to eat 80 tortillas before they go bad, so I'm actually gonna buy the smaller one. If I don't eat all 80 tortillas, that extra $1.50 I spent is a waste. So it's important to look at unit prices, but you need to consider how much you can realistically eat. Here's a case where it's a really good idea to look hard at the store brand. Here we have Almond Breeze, pretty common almond milk, $3.29, versus here, it's organic from the store for $2.19. It's on sale, so not normally that cheap, but that's the idea. So now I get organic almond milk, even though it's a store brand, awesome. Now we're gonna talk about the most complicated part of the store, the freezer section. Normally the freezer section is not where you wanna go because it has these unhealthy freezer meals, Although I will say I'm not against an occasional freezer meal. If you're too tired to cook, it's cheaper to eat in than eat out. So grab a couple that are marginally healthy and throw them in your freezer. But this is the section I wanna talk about. Frozen fruits and vegetables. People hear frozen, they hear bad. The thing is frozen fruits and vegetables are normally frozen right after they're picked. So nutritionally, they're the same, if not better than fresh produce. And they're cheap as hell. A dollar for frozen peas. I always have frozen peas on hand, throw them into pasta for a little extra protein. I'm not buying Brussels sprouts this trip, but I love Brussels sprouts. They even have frozen rice. If you don't want to wait to cook it, just microwave it instead. Mixed veggies, I use those for fried rice. Peas and carrots, I use those in curry dishes. Frozen fruits and vegetables are gonna be your best friend when you're on a budget. So this is my basket so far. I've been keeping a running total in my head and this basket is about $15, which means I have another $5 in my budget so I can stock up on extra food or go buy myself a treat. So eating healthy on a budget should never mean that you're feeling deprived or that you're not getting what you want. See, I had $15, $5 left, so I'm gonna spend it on it was popcorn. Cause I love popcorn. Probably also gonna get some dark chocolate cause I love dark chocolate. If I have a little bit of extra money, I might grab some carrots because you know what? Need some extra carrots, I'll stock up on those. 
But so that's the idea. Fill your basket with what you need, the healthy stuff, and then if you have some left over, fill up on the stuff that you, that, that kind of like not as great for you stuff. That's fine, it's all about moderation. As long as you're getting your fruits and vegetables and cutting down on sugar elsewhere, feel free to get what you actually like and what you want. All right, so I'm walking back from the grocery store. I couldn't record while I was checking out. Didn't really want to either. Didn't want to be rude. Uh, the total cost of all those groceries, including the popcorn and chocolate that I got, was $19.27. And that is like a full set of meals. That's breakfast for smoothies. That's lunch with tacos and rice and zucchini. And then dinner, I already have pasta, so I'm just gonna make pasta with peas and pesto. Hopefully this helped. Please like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Leave a comment below. I wanna hear from you. What do you buy when you're trying to shop healthy on a budget? I'm always looking for more tips. Help me out. Talk to you later. Bye.